With the Henley Library app, you can add fingerings and expressive markings such as dynamics and articulation to your scores. You can mark your scores freehand or using the Apple Pencil, and you can even use the real Henley music font. Better still, you can print your annotated scores or email them to students or colleagues. The possibilities are practically limitless. Let's take a look. Creating your own annotations will automatically make a copy or layer of the score, and you can always revert to the original. To enter annotation mode, hold a system with your finger, tap it using the Apple Pencil, or tap the pen icon in the menu bar. You can then view your copies or layers by tapping this icon in the upper left. You can add as many layers as you like, such as one for each student who's learning the piece. Rename or delete a custom layer by sliding its name to the left. Let's call this one Mary's Lesson. Activate any layer to make changes to it. Here, you can even share your annotations with other Henley Library app users. This can be really useful when working with students and colleagues, for instance. Just tap the Share button, and the system will take it from there. You can email the annotation file. And on an iPad, you can even use AirDrop to send it to other iPads on your network. Note that recipients need to have purchased the same score in the Henley Library app. Tapping Done in the upper right will save your latest annotations. And here's a tip. In Annotation mode, you can scroll the page by swiping up and down with two fingers, and you can also pinch to zoom. In the top row, you'll find three pens of different thickness, as well as a highlighter. Select one of these along with the color, and then you can write with your finger or the Apple Pencil. Just be aware that every time you lift your finger or the pencil, the app records a separate pen stroke, so you'll need to delete them individually. For example, let's say you want to play a crescendo here, and we'll use two pen strokes. Now we can go to the eraser, but we'll have to delete them one at a time. You can also erase individual editorial fingerings. For example, if we go to the original score, and show the fingerings. Now we could enter annotation mode. Let's say you want most of the fingerings, but a couple of them aren't quite so comfortable for you. So you could just go to the eraser, and then let's say we want to delete that one, for example, or delete this four. But don't worry, all of the original fingerings are still right there, and you can always return to them. Another option is to drag the symbols from the bottom row. The included symbols use the familiar Henley font, and if you scroll the bottom row, you'll find everything from dynamics to fingering and bowing notations to ornaments. So let's drag a fingering, for example, here. Unlike paper scores, you can even change the color of any of your markings after the fact. We'll select this icon, then select one of the markings, and then choose a color. You can also use this tool to move a marking. So let's say we want to refine the position. There we go. The text tool allows you to add typed text. Let's add a ritardando here, for example. But we need to move this up a little bit so we can see it. 
There we go. And let's change this color to blue, or even red, so we know that that's our own annotation. All done. You can even add smileys and other emojis. We're confident that you'll love the many options for annotating your scores and sharing your versions. Happy practicing!